With power outages happening more and more often, it becomes more and more critical that we have some sort of backup power to heat and cool our home in the event of an emergency. Not only that, but if we lose power and natural gas, how are we going to be able to get heating during the winter months? Now, if you've been following our channel for a while, you probably saw how we just installed a dual fuel heat pump system. So if we do have natural gas available, we can use this generator to power our gas furnace. Now, if we have a situation where we don't have electricity or gas, we can still power the all electric heat pump with other means such as propane or gasoline with our generator. So this is a very versatile setup when it comes to any sort of power outage. So we're gonna act as if there is a power outage and show you how easy it is to connect this GenMax tri-fuel generator to our home and then we're gonna show it to you powering the system. This thing is just beautiful. I love the orange and black color scheme. Uh, really nice design here and I absolutely love the uh, control station here. Beautiful display and we have all of our controls and our outlets here. So we have four 120 outlets, a 50 amp outlet, and a 120 or 240 outlet here with 30 amps. So we have a pull string here, so in case something happens with your battery, you can still start this device. And as you can see, it has 10,000 starting watts with gas, 9,500 with propane, and 8,400 with natural gas, which is what we're going to be testing it with today. Something I really love about this generator is the ergonomics of this handle. So it has a locking feature there, and you can walk with this like a wheelbarrow, whereas with my old Furman, it was very clumsy and you'd end up hitting your heels on the bottom part of the generator. So I really like this uh, design of the Gen Max. So to start with, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to start with natural gas. We're simply going to go to that setting there for natural gas. We're gonna flip the switch on. We're gonna start it and we're gonna show you the decibel count and then we're gonna show you how to connect this to the home. So we're gonna press and hold this for a few seconds, let go. So we're in low idle mode right now. I'm gonna turn that off. So even at high idle, we have 77 decibels. Now check this out. So this is low idle mode. Amazing, 70 decibels. I can easily talk right here and I'm not talking over the generator. So this is awesome during the nighttime when you don't wanna be keeping neighbors up and things of that nature. Next, I wanna show you how we have this set up. Now, there's several ways you can get power safely to your home in the event of an emergency. This is definitely the cheapest. So the whole idea of this apparatus right here is to prevent your generator from back feeding into the grid and causing an injury. So you'll notice right now, I can't turn the generator on until I turn the main off. So we're gonna act as if the power is out. We're gonna turn the main off. We're going to slide this up, and that's the only scenario in which you can then turn your generator power on. Now that the generator is on, you can't turn this on until you turn that off. So that's kind of how that works. So now what we've just done is we've allowed this power or potential power coming in to the inlet box to go through this uh, breaker to the rest of the home. Now this will power all of these other breakers so you can select which ones you wanna power in the event of an emergency. All right, so we've got our gas hooked up. This goes over to our breaker there. Our breaker is turned on, that goes to the generator. So we're gonna leave this breaker off here until we start the generator. I'm gonna hold it for a couple seconds. this on you see it ramps up a little bit and then it'll go back down 72 decibels very quiet still even with the 50 amp plug on so let's go inside and turn our heat pump on as you can see we've got lights our thermostat has just come on we're gonna set this to cool we're gonna go to 68 AC just came on. 
You heard the fan come on, the generator ramped up just a little bit. Just heard the compressor kick on. And there we go. This was all done in the low idle setting on our generator. I'm so thrilled with this, guys. That generator is on the low setting. It is extremely quiet. 68 decibels with the air conditioner and the generator on. And this is with it right by my house. So I can run a longer extension cord and we can put it back behind the shed there or the garage and you will hardly even tell that this thing is running. So that's a fantastic option in the event of an emergency. There we go, we just turned this on for the second time with this in low idle mode and it does it no problem. So with the dryer and this on, we had to have it in high idle mode, which is understandable. The dryer pulls a lot of amps compared to the soft start that this has built in. Um, but I'm really stoked that I'm able to run this in the event of an emergency and I can put that generator further back so it's a little bit quieter. So as you can see inside the home, we got 54 decibels. So not loud at all. And I wanted to show you this feature as well. Now if we want to turn it back on, simply press this. There we go. Easy as that. And I love this generator. So now that that's turned off, we'll show you how to turn this power back on and restore grid power. Very, very simple here. We're just gonna flip this generator power off. That slid down and now you can turn the grid power back on. It's that easy. Um, sure, it's not automatic, but for the average homeowner, this is plenty sufficient. So very user-friendly and uh, really easy to connect and disconnect generator power. Well guys, if you're in the market for a generator, I would highly recommend the Genmax Tri-Fuel Generator. Of course, you can find it in the video description. And I hope you found this video helpful in terms of how to get that power to your home. Now, if you'd like to see the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install that interlock kit, as well as the power inlet box, check out this video right here and we'll show you how to do that step-by-step -step for very little money. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.